the Iron Claw, the movie of Von Eric. Yeah, I just watched that. We all know the story of it, but I actually, we all went to see it with Rikishi. Um, Rikishi's my trainer out of uh, Knox Pro in Van Nuys. His, him, his cousin, uh, Reno, uh, no, IE, aka Count of California Black Pearl. And I was also trained by uh, Gangrel, David Heath, uh, who moved to Florida. Well, uh, Black Pearl, Rikishi, and some of us from Knox Pro, we all went to the movies together to watch that. And afterwards, Kishi was telling us about the time when uh, Afra and Sika took him and Samu down to Dallas to wrestle against Devon Eriks and, you know, pull the crowd. And there's a scene in the movie. I remember going to Dallas and actually going to their arena to see them wrestle against the Freebirds. Michael P. Has, yeah, Michael P. Has, Michael P. Has Hayes, uh, Tam Bam, Terry Gordy. Gordy, and Buddy Roberts. Um, I remember going to see them and, um, Iceman King Parsons was on that card too. Damn. Uh, he was back. Brother. Yes. Yep. Of course. I love <laughs> um, for anyone who doesn't know, there's a, right. There's a shot in the movie where the people are going to the uh, arena and you look down the street and you know, in Dallas, they have that tower with the ball on it, with the light, mm-hmm. it's a hotel or something. That actual shot looks like the exact place where the arena was because I remember seeing that down the street, just like that shot was filmed. And it just, it made my hair, hair to stand up on end and then to have Kishi tell us about uh, the, the Von Eric and, and everything. That, some of the stuff that happened that was not even in the movie because, you know, they had another brother named Chris. Of course. They didn't even put anything about Chris in the movie. And the reason why, because it would have been too long. Yeah. And, but, and, they, and, and they, felt then, that, they felt that another death would have been too much for the viewer. Too much to take. Uh-huh. Right. Because Chris actually, Chris killed himself when he was only 16. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that would have been a lot. People would have been like, what the hell? This is just a Yeah, I told my uh, brother story. Movie. I, I knew the story. Yeah. I followed the Van, Von Erics for, for years, you know, especially since the advent of the internet. And I knew the story. Mm-hmm. And I told my girl, prepare yourself, because she didn't know it like I did. I said, prepare yourself. This mm-hmm. is a true story. This is, it's crazy. And after every death, she's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then at the end, I told her, I told her what, what they didn't tell you is that there was one more brother. No. Right. I told her that whole story, too, man. Yeah, but um, yeah, the, but to hear Kishi talk about the things that took place, knowing firsthand. I mean, it's always good to know the story. Watch, you know, right now where we have the dark side of the ring and, and all that stuff beyond the ropes and stuff like that. We have the documentaries. But when you sit with someone and actually hear something, I mean, um, I can remember standing next to a tongue of kid. PK, which is Kishi's brother, Damn. watching the match that he had Dude. in Madison Square Garden against it was him and uh him and uh was it him and Tito Santana? Yeah, it was him because it was supposed to be it was supposed to be Jimmy Superfly Smith and Tito Santana versus Bob uh, Cowboy Bob Orton and Roddy Piper. Mm-hmm. But I just found out this past weekend how the Tongue of Kid got put into that match. Snooker couldn't do it. Mm. Um, I just found out Saturday from my trainer what happened. But Snooker couldn't screw the match, so they said, I like the kid. And that's how TK came out that's in that dope. match. But I stood right next to him in our class as we watched that match. And I kept looking at him, and I looked at TV, and he tapped me on the shoulder, watch this, this watch this, this, and I'm looking at it. And he just reliving the whole thing. And then to have Kishi tell us how here I am watching my younger brother. I'm back in the back behind the curtain watching my younger brother headline and sell out Madison Square Garden. And we're sitting in class like, damn, you know. (laughs) That's so cool, man. Yeah, the stories are always so much more... uh, 
profound and, 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 and more animated when the person that was there is telling you about this. So that's, you know, that's my love and the whole thing. That's, you know. I'm at a crossroads every damn day Looking back in my past when I sleep But living on the edge now I do it enough Iniquity down to my feet What do I do when I need a little food And I gotta get the money for the rent Fall to my knees, pray to the Lord Come my son, he can give me some money, repent What, what, thank you I really love you baby so I spank you Life is a west straight fucking you up Living in a prison, I'ma shank you So what's love got to do with it When it with my heart on my sleeve, I'm a foe But she said she love me, she wanna hug me Under my sheets, stories get told I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Yeah what are the chances? You're picking a flight, we're leaving tonight. Pack up your bags, we're leaving this place and this baggage. Cause what could we do while Rome is collapsing? But not in a day, we'll be okay. Let's hit the Amalfia Jackson. I'll pull up the map then, cause I'm through keeping up with these Joneses. Don't care what they're posting. You know, you only see what they show you. Let's fall off the grid then, cause we don't owe nothing to no one. Darling, just listen, it'll be. Just like starting and over I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay Wanna be on a beach somewhere Get kicked up in my chair Smoke all up in the air Clouds are looking lovely My girl is by my side My gun is by my side But why do cameras always make me look so ugly? And the smile fades when they disappear Till it's only you wishing someone cared Hilling out the window Is anybody there? Does anybody care? Was the rope in the fucking chair? And since God wanna play these fucking games I'ma take it there I spy with my little mind's eye Dreams that are beyond what you can see in daylight Baby, ignore the rain And everything gon' be okay And while the world burns I'll be near the skyline And I'll be biding my time Till I can ride the wave Then everything gon' be okay